always upload the okay. session on YouTube and I upload and I record and I upload on YouTube. <laughs> you know, just to make sure that you can surely catch up and watch it later on because it's very important for you to catch up. Also, even for me, you know, just to give another look, you know, I've noticed, you know, the analysis we did on the Sunday and I see it playing out uh, like from USDCHF, from KSCHF, from Gold. And I get amazed that, you know, when we do this session, sometimes uh, it's like, it's amazing that we can analyze and we can do the session at the same time, which is basically a class. And do analysis at the same time. And when you see those analysis playing out, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful thing. You know, we call this basically my main thing. I've got a company is called Millionaires Intelligent Institute. So basically, the main aim is just to have a group of it's just to have people around us. You know, people around people that are traders that have got the mind mindsets of a millionaire. So the aim is to educate, empower, and enrich. Because I believe, I think we, we, we did talk about this at the beginning of this month, that we, we, we want to challenge ourselves to be the best in terms of our ability. So our mission obviously is to elevate the financial being of humanity. That is a mission. That is the focus we have as a company. And, and our main focus is on education, the masses of the power, the financial markets, and providing a platform for our members to achieve financial freedom. As you know, in our group, we've got entrepreneurs, we've got traders, we've got people that are coaching in terms of uh, stock market, all of that. So those are the things that we're going to be focusing on. Otherwise, I want us to go through the game plan. The game plan, number one, you can either grow a small account. So you can either grow a small account. So growing a small account, uh, it's very different from, from maintaining or pushing like... Um, as uh so growing a small account or number one is have a percentage growth plan which means whatever you are whatever account you are trading you're focusing on having a growth rate by a percentage for example if you are trading an account that has let's say ten thousand rand your focus is making ten percent or twenty let's say let's say twenty percent a week that means you want to make two thousand rand a week uh, whatever trade you are taking, even if you're making 200 rand, that is 10% of your target. If you're making 100 rand, it is 5% of your target. So focus mainly on the percentage growth of your account. Even in your risk management, it's very important to do that. Secondly, another important uh, another important thing about legal is focus on high probability trades. Okay. Let's try and see who is uh making a sound okay because we don't want feedback uh so yeah, yeah. i'm just gonna check who is making that it's gonna mute everyone for now and then obviously later on we, what we'll do is we take questions we take question in the next uh 10 minutes or so okay so focus on high probability trades okay and then high probability trade is the trade that are more likely to pay. Sometimes if it's not clear enough for you, if it's not according to the strategy that we have learned and mastered, then do not focus on it, okay? So focus on only on high probability trades only because those are the ones we can measure our winning ratio. Those are the ones we're going to be making sure that we manage them properly because we know if out of 10 high probability trades, we make profit out of 10, we make 8 that has been our ratio so far, you know. So, so far, sometimes it's become some weeks we get 100% winning ratio. But it's all about, firstly, make sure that your risk is on point, meaning the lot size you are placing on your trade is very important. Thirdly, running a free ride trade. What does that mean? It means you've got a trade that is running, let's say, about 30 pips in profits. What you do then, you put a stop loss on your break even. Break even is basically a point of entry. So where you enter the trade, that's where you're going to be putting your stop loss. Sometimes even putting a stop loss in the profit side, you know, which is basically running a free ride trade. You're just holding on to that trade. 
accumulating more profits, which is best thing, okay? So, for example, you're running a trade, it's on 30 pips profits, and then you look at the higher time frame, you can see you can make more profits. So, you keep holding on by looking at the higher time frame, okay? Another thing we're going to be talking about, but this we're going to talk about in June, the IP partnership, because we need to do that also. And then analysis and signal, obviously, we're going to be doing that also. Let me just give you a bit of an example. For example, let's say you're trading an account with $100, you focus on making 3%, making 51 rand, that is basically your 3%, making 85 rand, that is your 5%. Obviously, remember, this hundred dollar right now, I think it's it's about one thousand nine hundred rand. So because at this time the rand was at seventeen rand per dollar, okay. So five percent is eighty five rand, and two hundred dollars three percent is hundred and two rand, and ten dollars is hundred and seventy. But right now it's hundred and ninety. That is your five percent, okay. So now if you are targeting trades that are giving you hundred and seventy or hundred and ninety per trade uh, and you do maybe five of these trades it means you could be making a thousand rand a day and it's about five thousand rand a week and it's about twenty thousand rand a month the reason i'm mentioning those numbers is because i know a lot of people are inspired by numbers a lot of people are motivated and by numbers because you you must know that firstly education comes and then money will follow basically afterwards so if you're working with an account with $500, your target of 3% is about $15. Obviously, we know as traders, we, we want to do more. We can basically do more with our current uh, strategy. We can basically do more than $15, okay? 255 rand, and then $25 is 425 rand, okay? So if you do this per trade, meaning you're trading at around 0.05 if you're trading a currency or 0.03 if you're trading obviously currencies and gold also because if you're trading nasdaq then you need to have a bit more account it's much bigger account because obviously it depends on your broker if you're trading a micro account obviously you don't need that much but 500 dollar account making 400 rand per trade or even two trades after a series of five trades you are about a 2.5 you know if you if you're doing holding on like more of your trades obviously because if you're trading a 0 0.10 lot uh um you can basically get a thousand rand per trade and if you're taking 10 trades a week that is basically ten thousand rand a week forty thousand rand a month okay talking about the thousand dollar account uh targeting thirty dollars of three percent and then $50 of a 5% is about 850. We've discussed this before that basically the most important thing is consistency and making sure that when you win, you win big, when you lose, you lose small and you cut out, you know, you cut out the losers very early and you focus on uh, holding on to the winning for much bigger profits. So you must also, another thing you can do, you can close some of the partial profits, you know, close some of the partial profits, closing some of the partial profits. Uh, like I mentioned, you focus on percent growth, e.g. 5% to 3, 3, 3 to 5% trade per day. Close some partial profits. You know, I've seen someone closing 30 pips as 0 0.5 on a standard large, and you know, 30 pips, on 0 0.5 uh, or which is half of a standard lot let's say you're opening a trade at the one standard lot one is on once it's on 30 pips then you close half of that lot size meaning you're closing partial profits you are basically adding on to your account balance that means you're going to get higher leverage on your next trade and also you've you've added some cash on your trading balance remember you must take trading as a business. So every time you see profit, close partial profit, especially if you are 30 pips and above, especially if you are trading currencies. So you can close 0 0.3 on 0 0.05 per trade. Then you can hold on to make uh, maybe 200 pips or 300 pips. It depends. So hold and swing trade by looking at the higher time frame from a four hour to a daily uh, time frame. Okay. 
but if obviously if you are trading for day trading it's very important to close partial profits and then you can move your stop loss to break even and start holding on to trade okay another important thing we should focus on focus on high probability trades focus on a few pairs and obviously look for a uh, euro gdp dex trade during the london session and then look for usd CAD, nasdaq down jones which means sp uh, your Dow Jones, your US state, SP 500 gold trade during the US market session is very important to know that. And then look for JPY, AUD, and ZD during the Asian session. Session obviously uh, is very important to trade chart patterns, QML, head and shoulder that are in line with the higher time frame trends. Okay, we'll just explain that as we go through the chart. So that is basically a game plan. So the game plan is number one, uh, grow your account, whether it's a small account or it's a big account. Big account, focus on percentage growth, focus on high probability trades, run a free trade, meaning you put your stop loss to break even, and also you close partial profits. These are some of the examples showing you a 3% growth on the $100 account, which is $3. $5 is a 5% growth. Focus on your account. When you see a percentage growth, 10, 3%, 5%, 10% is good. You know, I've seen that people that are trading a $10,000 account, if you're making 10% a month, it's about $1,000, which is close to 20 k a month. It's a good percentage. But when you're growing a smaller account, focus on growing your equity, save to first, uh, and then once your account has gone maybe to about $500, then you can make those 500 trends with about $25, $30, or $50 in a day or sometimes per trade. So $1,000, 3% is $30, and 5% is $50. We know with our strategy, you can basically make more, but you know it's important to have a, a positive equity growth. That's what we are looking for. For, okay but what i wanted to focus on tonight is just high probability trade i think i discussed this yeah so what is another thing we should be looking at um okay it's loading it's loading why is it taking so long to load yeah okay we got it got it okay so if you are trading supply and demand these are the components uh, which are important the components and these are some of the components but i think for someone who's joining us for the first time it's going to be a bit confusing so what i will do is i'll just go through the charts so i'll just go through the charts so that no one is going to be left behind i'll just go through the charts and just explain a few concepts that are important in terms of our strategy you know i think uh, the last video we did explain a little bit about candlesticks but tonight Let's just go through what you've discussed, okay? New share, let me just share about the charts, okay? I think we had a session whereby we discussed a few things. Number one, I think we did discuss, uh, number one, one of the signals today is that it's rich. It did reach our take profits. This was gold, you know? So what you see here, number one, notice this year, okay? This year, it's a lot of money it's a lot of traders that are stuck here so right here uh, is what i call uh, this year okay this year it's uh we just call it s1 we call it support one and then this year these are some of the things we've analyzed okay let's call this support two So, yeah, so this year is basically uh, a lot of traders that are trapped here. So what do you expect the market to do? It's going to come back and drop below that level, okay? This is what it's already done. So this is some form of a W. So basically, what do we do? High probability trade, what does it say? Okay, let's just look at this. 
just look at this one of the key thing obviously is whenever before most of the time before we trade dollars before we trade i mean gold see right here it's another support one just mark that so that you can see this is another level where expect the market important thing is patience you know for example this is support one and this is what support two again okay what do you expect expect the market to draw liquidity from here okay as you can see there was some form of a reaction the reason this point here it can hold but now because there is also more liquidity when i say liquidity i mean there are more traders that are also here that we're buying you know when the market was was moving like this let me just show you what i mean because i don't want when the market was was doing this it was like see let me just do this kanji when the market was moving between this zone it was trapping buyers and sellers buyers and sellers buyers here people buy but when the market gets here they will sell because they see those resistance level those pins those pins signifying that the market is getting the momentum is getting weaker and then drop to this level came back again drop people were buying 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 see these pins are rejections and the market move like up like that right once it reached this level obviously which was the highest high and then it started dropping right but then because of this year some liquidity needs to be collected and then when it came back to this level and then it dropped even further to this level what is also important to note is something that we call it a market structure okay because i want to talk about holding on to a trade because you are looking at the bigger picture okay so the market is dropping like this let me see if i use so retest previous i this is the previous high and then it drop again drop okay there's a question um that's why it's finishing a triangle when it comes to the market structure okay 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 see that so and then it dropped you know and then dropped here okay maybe i sh what's the time okay maybe <laughs> I don't know. We have always at Kola, you know, in our session. So Kola will join us and give us a bit, you know, of knowledge. You know, I don't know. Uh, but Tige, I don't know how he's here tonight. You know, yeah. But Tige, that's what happens. Okay. So the market dropped. See this level here. Uh, I'm trying to. So these levels, because I don't want to have too many mark mark point that I've marked so that you'll be confused so this is support one support one support two the price dropped and then obviously right here it is another level of a lot of people that were buying 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 is some form of liquidity what do they have they've got their stop losses somewhere here right all these here are stop losses that are here they need to drop below to collect more liquidity before they move to the upside okay let's go to the daily i think we did analyze uh this one on the daily we did analyze it on the daily okay so looking at that my expectation on the daily is still this that is going to come back to this one remember we did speak about this here the origin the origin of the movement where the buy actually started from because even here in this level yes this level it is when you're looking at that it is a flip zone this year if you take that as the highest meaning as some form of resistance let's call it r1 okay we're gonna call this r1 if you're a bit confused about what we're talking about and then we call this s1 this s1 so what is happening here is this you got market that was moving 
up to this level and then it dropped below that level and then it broke above a level what is going now is retesting same level previous level what we're expecting to do is go further up okay what you do is you wait for it uh, <laughs> all right okay okay cola yeah man I uh, just want to see which, which one of the setup you were looking at because I think I'm almost done with uh, my gold. I think I'm done with gold. You know. Yeah, so that's basically it. So what you do from here, obviously, when the market retests the level, what you expect right here, this is where, which means break a level. Break a level. Where is the break? The break is here. So it broke above this level so now you're gonna buy you are selling because this was previous resistance came back to this level and you can see that level is in line with the previous level which is that level it's basically market structure okay market structure our my focus basically when we do trading my focus is on price action but also understanding the patterns okay so that's what is expected from here what i'm expecting expecting this because when the market move in the form of a compression we call this a compression because it's just accumulating accumulating as we need to see a spike very huge spike but it's not doing that now so fetch they're gonna have Okay, you know what I'm thinking. Maybe we can switch. Dollar. What do you think, man? We're going to have... I'm recording a session. I'm thinking. Yeah. What I wanted to cover the most, I've almost covered. You know, unless if there is a session whereby... Because even even on this... Uh, what do you call this? Where is USDCHF? I think we're looking at it. Someone is asking me about it. And I said, I'm looking at, I think it was a four hour. I said, I expected to get there. And this was the low. And this is a low. The reason I'm looking at the high time frame is because when I make sure your take profit is very high, but then you enter in a smaller time frame because when I make sure that your, uh, your stop loss is also very small. So your take profit needs to be in a higher time frame. So that you can hold on to trade but also your stop loss so this here this is what i mean when i say accumulation they are just accumulating accumulation so, so compression is not really a major move they're just accumulating until that discussion is finalized what discussion are we talking about we're talking about the discussion of a debt ceiling that is a discussion because all this interest rate uh, decision not really the main focus so you can see even this year it's more like a trap you know nothing is going to happen nothing major until obviously i'm expecting a reaction in that level you know reaction in that level at the market you basically touch that and drop but the major one because i see it even in other another pair is this thing here i'm expecting it too Get to that level you know that level over there okay even that level and then do a drop to that level because why it's been doing this accumulating accumulating after a lot of time of accumulating what you expect the market to do expecting it to drop this year that's what i mean compression coming back here coming back here coming back coming back you know this thing is what i call accumulating accumulating then after all of that accumulation that's gonna be a huge drop you know so it's been accumulating a lot of liquidity after that accumulation there needs to be a drop okay that was expecting because that's what i also see even on the gdp usd you know as much as it's doing this this right here is accumulation before it can break go above it needs to have a huge drop and that drop is just 
collecting order remember when if you're a bank trader you want more before you can enter a big buy order you want traders going opposite meaning that are selling you know you, they're gonna be a huge selling before they can do like a huge move up because this year is just a uh, compression you know where is this thing i'm, I'm trying to look for this thing crawler man the, um, this thing Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Collaborate. <clears throat> Can't remember. You know what I'm thinking, Kola. Can you like create? I'm thinking you can create a Zoom session on your side, Kola, and then we can share the link on the group, and then yeah, and then yeah, just like a for like ten minutes session. Ever? That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, okay. Create can create like uh, we're gonna have so guys we're gonna have uh we're gonna take a short break, small break, a <laughs> short break, <laughs> a small break, and then Gola will create like a session uh for about ten minutes of ten to fifteen minutes and then yeah, we just do cover a few things that we not cover on this session. But this one I will record and upload it on YouTube. Okay? Yeah. But uh, yeah, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Much appreciated, brother. I know you're doing the most. You know, Gola did the most. He, I know, is one of the best traders that I know. He did even the what do you call this perform. So he did that, qualified, done, and dusted. Is very good trader in terms of technical analysis. So basically, what I mean by this is compression. Compression is building up. You know, it's building up. Yeah. One of the best, but I know I'm one of the best. You basically be in good hands, which I'll share the link on the group, on the WhatsApp group. And yeah, and then everyone who wants to join can join. Okay. So this is basically what I mean by compression, building up orders. From here, sell, buy, people will sell, people will buy, people will sell, trapping. But in between, what are you looking at? You're not just looking at that, you're looking at this here. You know, you're looking at this year, this year, this liquidity, these points, these pins, tapping, 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 going further up, then coming back here. What do you expect? Expecting them to come back here. If you go on a daily, you can see clearly on the daily. Okay. Hope I'm making sense. If you can see that I'm not making any sense, please give me a shout. Don't say, press, don't be quiet. The president, I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, I'm a bit confused, you know. So this is what I mean. So the market will do this. Complete psych. Okay. And then go further up. Okay. As you can see, if we change this to... Okay. Yeah, but that's what I mean. You come back to this level before, because this was another previous in terms of previous support before it goes further up and it's just very clear on the daily i like it on the daily okay i think also i think okay we join the session that cola is gonna create in a few minutes i think we did share the analysis of this that is this is gonna drop and it, it has already been dropping this year you know as much as indices are moving they've been moving up Fundamental wise, nothing that is that that basically you can see most of the banks, companies are not doing well, even the even the you know, the numbers are not good. I saw the PMIs today as I can tell they are not good. Yeah. Otherwise I'll share the I'll share the link on the WhatsApp group and then you can join in for color. That is all that I think we can cover on this session. I know a session span of a human being is about forty five minutes and online is worse. Okay. Yeah, I think we've done this in the morning. I think we did this in the morning. This year, it's a trap. 